everyone welcome to our channel my name is Shannon and I am a homeschooling mom of seven children soon to be eight kids we have four um, school age children from kindergarten up to eighth grade for this next coming school year and we have always used my father's world homeschool curriculum and today I wanted to share with you why we choose to use My Father's World, what I like about it, and show you um, just a sample of the teacher's guide that we'll be using for next year. So this is our teacher's guide for next year. It is the 1850 to Modern Times Guide uh, manual, teacher's manual. And so this is the last year of the family cycle. We started with my oldest daughter did kindergarten um, and she has worked her way up all the way to the very last year of their cycle. So um, I'm excited to be on the final year. Um, so the first thing that I really like about My Father's World is that it's very open and go. There's not a lot of planning for me to do besides um, putting student sheets into binders and um, that's about it. In the past we have always used the history, Bible, and science portions of My Father's World. Um, this coming year we will not be using the science. I had already bought something else and we had half the books already for this year so I just um, decided to do only history and Bible through My Father's World. So this is what the inside of the guide looks like. It has a grid. This side has got um, all of the history here, the Bible up here, and it leaves room for English, spelling, uh, science here, math, reading, and then down here are the optional art, music, and read alouds. Um, it also has a place to show you what notebook pages you're going to be doing that day. So on this side, is the second and third grade supplement chart. For this year especially, the second and third graders do not have the same history reading as fourth and up, fourth through eighth grade do, because the history is hard this year. There's a lot of war, a lot of violence, um, so they, they avoid that with the kids because it's hard to stuff to talk about. So the littler kids have their own stuff to do, so I will have one son doing this history here um, and then I have two kids that will be doing this this history here. My oldest daughter will be in eighth grade. She will be capable of doing most of it on her own. By next year she should be working uh, independently almost with everything. Of course with my help if she needs it. And then my other son is in fourth grade and he still needs a lot of help but I plan to find time to read this history with them so that we can have the discussions that we need to have um, about the things that have gone on. Okay, so again on this side the second and third grade supplement here and then on the next pages they give you a list of materials you would need for that week. Um, a lot of them are for science stuff uh, which we won't be doing. Um, and then they have for every day they have this is Monday and then Tuesday starts here and then Thursday and Friday. So they have um, each day notes that are needed so that you can look through them and have an idea if there's any um, thing that they might not approve of. They give you a warning about it and um, check directions for how to do games and different things. So that is one of the reasons I really like My Father's World. I don't have to plan what we're going to read. Um, except for if my oldest daughter last year she did a lot of reading on her own because last year was a heavy year for reading and so she did a lot of it on her own last year so I did have to separate that out um, but uh, for the most part it's all scheduled here um, I don't have to look through the books and try to figure out what would be best to read during this week or um, whatever it's all in here so Another thing that I really like about My Father's World is that they use mostly living books. I will be having a um, another video 
on our curriculum choices for this year where I will show all of uh, the books that come with My Father's World 1850 to Modern Times. So be looking for that. Um, but I like that living, they use living books. They are um, rich literature, full of stories, truth. Um, they're not boring textbooks, although sometimes textbooks are used. I've only had um, one time in the past that they used a book that I did not enjoy reading, and we actually ended up stopping reading it because the kids didn't enjoy it and I didn't enjoy it. Um, so we chose something else to supplement that instead. Another thing that I really enjoy is that they, most of their books, well, all of their books that they choose um, will have a biblical worldview. That's one of their goals is to teach the children to view the world from God's eyes, to see Him in everything that He's created. So that's something that I, um, that we really like for that. Uh, another thing is that they take Bible and they put it in every subject. So like I said, a lot of their books, um, they've taken for, say, a science book that had some evolution in it. They had permission from the publishers to rewrite that part, to take that out of there, and to be able to put in um, a creationist viewpoint in that book. So to be able to take out the, the false and put in the truth. Another thing that I really like about my father's world is the family cycle. So like I said, it starts with um, your first child will do kindergarten, first grade, and then they will do um, second grade, which is adventures, and then they'll go on to exploring countries and cultures, creation to the Greeks, Rome to the Reformation, uh, exploration to 1850, and 1850 to modern times. Now if you have a child a second child and so on. They skip adventures for third grade. They still do, or for second grade. They still do kindergarten first, and then they just join right in with whatever the older children are learning about. So this year, I have an eighth grader who will be doing the um, 1850 to modern times, and then I have a fourth grader who also is doing the same thing. I also have a second grader doing the same. 1850 to modern times. He won't be doing adventures because we skip over that um, since he'll be joining in with the family cycle. And then I have a kindergartner and I have two preschoolers and I have two younger than that. But um, that's something that I really like about my father's world. I've looked at so many other curriculum. I have just gone back and forth and back and forth trying to make up my mind of what to use. And I always come back to my father's world because when I look at doing a separate core or a separate guide for each child, I get overwhelmed with the time that it would take me to do that. So I love that I can teach them all the same thing, the same history subject. It gives them things to talk about. They enjoy learning it together. They're able to share it with dad and um, feed off of each other of what they learned. I like that uh, this keeps our family together if we were to have, um, now next year this will change a little because my oldest daughter will be in high school her first year. She'll be doing all her own independent work. Um, but for the most part it keeps the rest of us together. If we were to teach separate cores or whatever, separate guides, for each child they would all be off doing their own thing. Um, we like to keep everyone together as a family to spend time together. That's one of the reasons we homeschool is so that we can enjoy being together, being a family, learning from one another. Um, so I like that this keeps us all together. Everyone sits at the table. We all read together, even the little tiniest one. Uh, right now she's 18 months, almost 18 months old, and she joins us every morning for our Bible time, for our history reading, for our read-alouds. Um, all the way up to the oldest. So I like that they everyone stays together to learn the same things. Um, another thing that I really like for my father's world that I have not always utilized and I regret doing it um, is that it comes with an option to purchase student sheets. Now when you buy a whole the whole package so you get 
the guide. You get all the books for history, all the books for the Bible, all the books for um, science. When you buy the whole package, you get one set of student sheets. Then you have an option of buying more. So this year I ended up buying three sets of student sheets because I have three kids doing the 1850 to Modern Times. Um, I like that they are pre-printed. They're basically notebooking pages um, that you can go through. They're scheduled in the guide so you know when to do a notebooking page. They're not too much, um, but it's not not enough either. So. I like that you get the option to purchase them. Now last year I had big plans <laughs> of uh, making my own student sheets. I did not get it done. I had the one set of student sheets that I got when I when I bought the package for last year. I had my oldest daughter do those on her own which she did and now she has a nice little notebook from last year. Um, but I had planned on taking those, making my own for the other two boys, just trying to save some money. Um, and it ended up not working out. Our life got crazy. I was busy and I just didn't do it. So this year I decided that um, it was worth it to buy the student sheets. So I have purchased student sheets for the kids to use. And I'll have another video on how I organize them this year. I've done it several different ways that I'll share. But um, for next year, I will show you what I did for that. Um, so um, another thing with my father's world is that it is reusable. Once you, once we are done with this year, this will be our last year. After this year, we will start back over at the beginning of the family cycle with exploring countries and cultures. Um, that was my oldest daughter's favorite year. She was just telling me this this morning that she's kind of bummed she doesn't get to do it again because she'll go into high school next year. Um, but that was her favorite year. So when we're done with this, we will start back over with that and then I can start saving money. It seems like after buying eight years of curricula that I will never save money but with my father's world, I can start over next year. Um, and actually that's not true. I've used the kindergarten curriculum. This will be my fourth time using it. I've used the first, first grade curriculum three times. So um, I am saving money. I just have to buy new student sheets is all that I have to buy. Sometimes they will upgrade the manuals or update them. They did this with kindergarten this last year. So my kindergartner this year, she will be, um, I'm going to use my old guide, I think. And they have all the same, same student sheets. They just have added some extra ones uh, that are optional to use. So um, if I decide, uh, like the first grade guide last year, or not last year, um, I think it was with my third child, I had to buy a whole new guide and everything to go with the student sheets. So sometimes that does happen, but for the most part I will have all the books, I will have the guide, and I'll just need to buy some student sheets to go with it and that will help us to save money in the future on buying curriculum. Um, we won't have to continue to buy something new every single year. So um, another thing that I like about my father's world is that most of their lessons are short. Last year there was a lot of reading and um, I separated it out. I had a child old enough to do a lot of her work independently, which was nice so that I could focus on the younger kids and reading them um, the younger books that are more suited towards them. This year, I'm not sure how much reading there will be, um, but we will just have to figure out how to make it fit in because I want to be able to read it with my older kids since the the uh, subjects are so hard. So that is what I like about my father's world. That's why I think that is it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below and I will get, try to get to them and answer them quickly. 
Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming soon. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.